Alright guys, this is another video of the garden. This is a little video about flowers and why bees and wasps and hornets are so important. So, if I don't sound really awake, well, I just got up, I just got up like an hour ago and um, I didn't really drink coffee. I don't drink coffee as usual, as, as usual. But I don't drink straight up black coffee. It tastes disgusting. But I I want to show you flowers. Now beans. This I think is a Bertoli bean. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. I think I butchered that totally. But or cranberry bean. And I don't think these rely on bees and pests to pollinate them. Um, because I literally accidentally pulled the flower off of this cranberry bean, and what did I get? A bean pod. Now, that's not ready, but, like I said earlier, it, 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 this got turned into a bean. So, even the rest of these beans over there, when I get gray harvest, I know I definitely will, but... Once I get those harvested, I will start to put like a kind of like a trench, like furrows. But I know self sufficient me is not a fan of putting furrows. I don't think anyone else that does raised bed gardening is either. But I think in my house, I believe that anything, anything that's like a binny or like a tire like a binny or like this or like just a kiddie pool is a raised garden bed even this now let's just get back to flowers now my geraniums I already told you about them a million times they look like they were drawn at the place and I saved them but blah, blah, blah. the video is not about them The video is about flowers, so um, this is a flower for an eggplant. Please tell me if that's a oh sorry. Please tell me if that's a male or a female flower, please, because I'm not sure. Um, it's a white flower with a white pistil. So yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. So and plus. You can just go ahead and fertilize your plants and your flowers and just let the bees do all the work. That's what they're made for. Even yellow jackets. And pumpkin flowers. Right there. And cucumber flowers. You will find the cucumber. Well, it's not right there, but... Ladies and gentlemen, do not be scared or do not, do, do not get... Do not give up about your cucumbers because this cluster there are all female cucumber flowers, which obviously produce that. And that's almost ready, I think, in a week. Then I'll be able to cut him, cut him on and eat him. And um, you all, all, always want to fertilize your plants and keep them healthy. And, um, yeah, keep the plants healthy and put fertilizer down or coffee, old coffee, um, old coffee powder. I, I can't, I forgot the word. Coffee grains and put them down. Not a lot, because you'll turn your bed into a compost bed if you do that, but don't do that. Just put a little bit. For each plant, and we'll thrive. Maybe not just with coffee, but with compost. I, you, you know, you know, the reason why I got all these flowers is because I put compost down, and the reason why I had all these bees, cause they are addicted to flowers, and that's beautiful. I think that's a bumblebee. That's not a carpenter bee. That's the first bumblebee in the world. Oh my gosh. 
So always compost your plants and fertilize them or else the growth will be stunted and it will retard the growth. You, know, you don't want the growth retarded. Oh, that, well, sorry I said retarded because that means just the growth of the plant is slowing down and just stuck in limbo and it's not going anywhere and it could just potentially die off. So that's what that means. It means it can die off. Why the... Every single bee does not want to pollinate this meandering vine. By the way, these are porcelain doll pumpkins. That meandering vine right there. Or maybe it's another seed. Because the flowers look a little bit different. But even like the cantaloupe flowers, I, I believe they will look strikingly similar because they're in the same character bit family as the pumpkin and as the watermelon as well even tomatoes because if you have tomato plants then well i don't know what i just said then but if you have tomato plants it will have flowers like these but these are cherry tomatoes grew from seed from the actual cherry tomato i cut it up and I took the seeds out. No, you don't really need to even put dig a hole and put the tomato like like creative explained said he got 12 million views for that. He dug a hole in the pot, put a, a slice of the tomato with the flesh and the seeds still in it and covered up with soil. Yeah, it might grow, it might not because self-sufficient me proved that in one of his food scrap videos that it didn't grow well why is that because the acidity of the tomato i think kind of kills the seeds and the gel that's around the seeds prevents it to grow it's a growth retardant so it prevents it to grow so make sure you like this video give it a great thumbs up share and like and subscribe that helps my channel out a lot and thank you so much you know um i need to give a shout out to my commenter on one of my videos of i think it was time warner splitter my videos got 1000 views so thank you so much and now i got eight subscribers thank you so much for your help and also i'm gonna give a shout out to you in about an hour in one of my next videos so peace